I think everyone involved with the club needed that. I mean, it's been a tough, you know, tough few days for us. Um, you know, I think the management staff done well to galvanise us, um, to get us through that that patch, and you know, to come from behind. You know, we had to show a lot of guts, but I think it was important that we put in a shift and we represented the club in that manner. And I think we want we done that well tonight. What was it like for you playing with Jonathan Stead up front? Um, it was it was new, it was new, but it was a bit, um, you know, a bit of the usual for me in, in terms of how I previously played. You know, and I think Steady, you know, Steady did well tonight. In my opinion, he was the man in the match tonight. He, you know, he worked the socks off. He played, you know, he, 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 he kept everything nice and neat. He linked play. He won his fair share, had us, and you know, with that, I feel that you know it it helped benefit me and get me in, you know, girls' scoring opportunities in which I I want to be in. And how do you feel with that match ball now and dear on your arm and putting in that winning performance? Yeah, I mean, I'm delighted to get, you know, to get to get off the mark and get a few goals, get, or get a hat trick. But you know, more importantly, I think I think we, you know, we deserve to go out there and do the best we can. I think Mark and, and Steve, uh, you know, done great, especially, you know, giving us the motivation and, and, and you know, and, and, and everything to get us back in that match. I think, you know, they showed us that the game's not done. Um, you know, we're totally capable of coming back. And I think, you know, they did well putting, you know, putting a few more attacking players. I think the changes was good. And it gave us more of attack and threat. And you know, once we got one, you know, you almost saw our, our tails was up. You know, um, our confidence was flying. You know, and I'm, you know, I'm just happy to, to get for as a winner. Um, I'm not too quite. I'm not too pleased with my performance. I mean, it's nice to get a hat trick. It just, you know, sometimes it happens as a footballer. You don't play your best game, but you get a hat trick. Then you have, you know, amazing games sometimes, and you you, you can't score for now. But I'll take a hat trick. I mean, it will help my my confidence. I think I needed that. Hopefully, that can kickstart our season. Well, yeah, we'll all take that tonight, uh, Naki. Just how tough have the last couple of days been for the for the squad? With everything's gone on. Yeah, I think um, I think to, to hear the news that Mark was gone, I think a lot of the lads was devastated. Um, you know, I would die definitely was because I, you know, I, I I really I really liked Mark and I really liked him as a person and, and a manager. Um, you know, he brought me in and he, you know, I always wanted to do. Well, I think it's just a shame that I was. You know, I was fortunate to score a hat trick the game after he leaves, and I couldn't produce that while he's here. Um, but that's football. I'm sure he'd be pleased, you know, with, with, with what's fallen for me and the club because that's the type of manager and the man he is. Um, you know, I've spoken to him, and he wishes everyone in the club well. He told me, just keep working hard, and um, you know what he brought me in to do will eventually play, pay off. And Mark Lillis now in caretaker charge, saying everyone has to believe just what a good championship side you can be with this group of players. I know this is a performance against the League One side, but when you play particularly with such creativity, does that give that belief back slowly but surely that you can be a threat in the Championship again? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we had the players around. I think you can put us on paper next to any Championship team. Apart from large experience, I think there's nothing that separates us. You know, we have a young, a young, good team with um, a bright future. That's why I believe everyone in the country understands that Huddersfield should move forward and continue to grow because, you know, they had the players to move forward, and that's what attracted me. I mean, you know, I wasn't coming into a club where it would be drastic changes, and even now there's, you know, there, there could be a management change. I doubt there would be too much different. I just think we need to get our heads back on. I think, you know, everyone showed that we have the desire in which we needed to show. It's just unfortunate we show it, you know, once the manager is gone. But I think everyone in and around the club would be happy to, to see, you know, where, while we was at our most fragile, at, you know, 2 0, they scored a second with. You know, we're thinking the game's done and dusted, but you know, Mark and Steve, you know, gave us a good pep talk and told us anything's possible, and we're delighted to come back in that fashion. Just finally, from me, um, into the second round of the cup, fancy another trip with another West Yorkshire club to Wembley now in this competition? Now, <laughs> get used to that. I mean, I don't know if that's possible again, but it just shows that anything is possible. I think for us, I think you know, we we look forward to the draw. You know, it'd be great to get a big team, you know, a big side. You know, home all way. I think you know any any revenue for the club. You know, it's good in any manner. But we'd be looking forward to it, and it's nice to be in the draw. And it gives us as a club another match for certain players to get minutes and and to go out and, and try to progress and do you know do what I was fortunate enough to do in the past and get 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 to the to the final.